Shakira dropped a viral diss track against her cheating ex, Gerard Piquet, and it has everybody talking. Also, Damson Idris and Lori Harvey are officially dating, but is this a PR relationship? Lastly, Meek Mill is being accused of throwing shade at Lori. To find out more, stay tuned and watch this video. Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive channel. Shakira got all of Latin America shaking right now because she just dropped a viral diss track against her ex, Gerard Pique. Now, for those who don't know, Shakira was in an 11 year relationship with the Spanish soccer player, Gerard, and Shakira was willing to slow her career down just to support Gerard. In fact, she told Elle magazine, one of the two had to make the effort and that sacrifice and I did it. I put my career in second gear and I came to Spain to support him so he could play football and win titles. It was a sacrifice of love. So Shakira made a new life for herself in Spain. She stayed at home and raised their two children. She even accepted that Gerard's mother lived next door to her so she could visit her anytime to see their kids. She was really all in in this relationship, but Gerard cheated on her and it was reported that he cheated on her multiple times and he actually left her for a much younger woman named Clara Chia. And Shakira was really heartbroken because she was going through a lot at that time. Her father was sick. She was hunted down for tax evasion and she is going on trial for tax fraud, which is a whole nother situation. She could be facing jail time behind that. And she also had to deal with a lot of bad press. And on top of all of that, the love of her life cheated on her. So now Shakira is letting out all her frustrations with Gerard and her music. And she dropped a diss track on BZRP Music Sessions. And in her diss track, she said this in a translated version. I don't want another disappointment. You go around saying you're a champion. And when I needed you, you gave your worst version. Sorry, baby. I should have thrown you out a while ago. A she-wolf like me is not for rookies. A she-wolf like me is not for guys like you. For guys like you. I'm too good for you. And that's why you're with someone just like you. You left me my mother-in-law as my neighbor. Media outlets at my door in debt with the government. You thought you hurt me, but you made me stronger. Women don't cry anymore. They cash in. And she threw some shade at Clara too. She said she has the name of a good person. It's clearly not what it sounds like. She also said, wish you good luck with my supposed replacement. You traded a Ferrari for a Twingo. You traded a Rolex for a Casio. Ooh wee. If you want to read the full translated lyrics, they're on billboard.com. But Shakira was taking shots at Gerard and Clara. And I think she needed to do this to get some stuff off of her chest. And of course, this is sending soccer fans into a frenzy because it's now making Gerard look bad. <laughs> and what's so funny about this is Gerard attempted to be petty. In the song, Shakira compared herself to a Rolex and compared his new girl to a cheaper watch called Casio. And so Gerard was like, okay, I'm gonna do a deal with Casio. So he announced a partnership with Casio. But as soon as he made that announcement, Casio stocks plummeted. So he was trying to be petty, but it backfired. I mean, it's just funny and messy at the same time. <laughs> but the whole situation does make Gerard look bad. And I'm pretty sure Shakira doesn't care. Shakira's trying to get her lick back. Gerard left her heartbroken and embarrassed and he bruised her ego. So she's not gonna spare him, not if she can make money from it. <laughs> so she's gonna capitalize off of all of her heartbreak. Now moving on to the next topic, Lori Harvey and Damson Idris seemingly made their relationship official. I'm gonna get into that, but before I do, I first wanna thank Sonic Bonnet for partnering with me and sponsoring this video. The Sonic Bonnet is not your everyday bonnet. It's a luxuriously silky bonnet with the power of Bluetooth technology. 
Built into its breathable elastic headband are a set of Bluetooth earphones, so you could start, pause, and play sounds from your phone, answer calls, and more, all with a tap of a button. The Sonic Bonnet is the perfect companion for your daily self-care and hair care routine. Once you tuck your hair into its comfortable, silky head cap, you'll be sold. Indulge yourself in this nightly beauty regimen and sleep soundly and sweetly with your favorite sleep sounds, music, podcasts, and audiobooks. And guess what? You'll never have to worry about losing your earbuds. The Sonic Bonnet earphones are USB chargeable with over a three nights charge and are easily removed and replaced for when you want to wash your bonnet. This self-care is for the mind, body, and hair. Treat yourself to a Sonic Bonnet today at sonicbonnet.com. And while you're at it, grab a gift for a friend or a loved one. I honestly can't think of a cuter gift. Take advantage of the free U.S. shipping on all orders over $50 now at sonicbonnet.com. Once again, I want to thank Sonic Bonnet for partnering with me and sponsoring this video. The actor Damson Idris just went public with the socialite Lori Harvey. Now, I wasn't exactly surprised by this news because for a while I did hear that these two were linking up, but I was just going to wait for them to go public. I also heard a rumor that Lori made Damson sign an NDA. There's been a rumor going around that Lori is now making all the men she dates sign an NDA with $1 million penalties. So if they run their mouth about her, they're going to have to pay up. Allegedly. I don't know if this is true or not, but if it is true, I have to respect it. I have to respect how Lori has been able to turn her dating life into a business because literally that's what she has done. She has grown her brand from being attached to different celebrity men. And she knows that there is a risk dating around in Hollywood. She knows that men will talk and she knows that she'll get more criticism for dating around because she's a woman. So the idea of her making her men sign NDAs is actually pretty smart because she won't have to worry about them putting her business out there on the street. That way she can move on to her next target. I mean, her next man in peace. <laughs> Now, what do I think about Lori and Damson dating? I'm actually here for it, honestly. I think Damson is a good pick. He's clean cut and handsome and he carries himself in a way that's not messy. Oddly enough, he reminds me of Lori Harvey's ex, Michael B. Jordan. And what's interesting about this situation is Damson and Michael B. Jordan are cool. I don't think they're friends or anything like that, but they definitely have hung out. So I assume that they were cordial on some level, but I don't think Damson had any interest in building a friendship with Michael. I think he was plotting on Lori the whole time, to be honest. <laughs> and another thing to note, I do think a big part of this whole Lori and Damson pairing is for publicity. Damson is gonna get some publicity being connected to Lori. And I do find it interesting that he dropped this picture right around the time the new trailer for his show, Snowfall, was released. So that was pretty strategic on his part. I do think he might use this relationship as a way to promote his upcoming projects. He doesn't necessarily need to be in a high profile relationship to get attention, but I think he would like the publicity, to be honest. Lori, on the other hand, definitely is going to benefit from the publicity because she knows the only way she gets people talking is when she's dating another celebrity. This is a part of her brand now, which is why I do believe some of her relationships are becoming business arrangements. She's not going to date these guys if she's not getting something in return from them. She's kind of moving like a Kardashian, but she's doing it in a much more classy way. She's not overexposing herself and putting her business out there and she's not getting trapped with babies by these men if the relationship doesn't work she quietly moves on she moves on to the next man who will bring her benefits and she's been kind of playing this game for a while before moving up to people like damson and michael b jordan she was actually dating the likes of trey songs and future and of course she didn't take these men serious but she saw the benefit of being with them because she was getting attention. She was actually getting a lot of attention on the urban blogs. And this is kind of what started to bring her more publicity. She was no longer just known as Steve Harvey's stepdaughter. She had her own name. She was the it girl. 
After entertaining those two, she moved on to Diddy. Diddy was a step up in a way because he's a billionaire, he has a lot of connections, and he is a household name. However, Diddy has a messy dating history. He likes to entertain multiple women at one time. And just like Future, he's also a serial baby daddy. So there's a lot that comes with him. He has a lot of money, but he also has a lot of baggage. And I don't think Lori wanted to be seen with Diddy for too long because ultimately she would get played. So she moved on, but for the limited time she was with him, she did get benefits, she got gifts, and she also got more publicity. After dating Diddy, she moved on to higher tier men. She started dating the likes of Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan is a respectable actor in Hollywood. He was one of the most eligible bachelors in Hollywood. And also he carries himself with a certain level of class and professionalism. And he has been able to open a lot of doors for Lori. I noticed that Lori's celebrity profile shot up the roof when she started dating Michael B. Jordan. She moved on from being talked about on the hip hop and urban blog space to being covered on more mainstream platforms. And she was invited to high profile events and also she was able to launch her own skincare brand. So she's no longer just a socialite and a model, but she is actually an entrepreneur. She's been able to build her brand off of her relationships. And her relationship with Michael was pretty ideal, but ultimately they were just two different people in two different spaces. Michael is older, he probably wanted something more serious, and it was said that they broke up because she wasn't ready to settle down. However, one of Lori's family friends, Lisa Ray, said that that wasn't the case. Lisa hinted that Michael was still in love with his ex, and that's the reason why they broke up, allegedly but Lori did not complain and cry and whine about the broken relationship. She just quietly moved on. Lori has made it clear that if a relationship is not serving her, she will leave, she'll move on. She's one of those women who does not want to lower her standards and she doesn't wanna get played either. I think she has more of a reputation that she's the one who breaks the hearts. But personally, I think she sees red flags ahead of time and she leaves the relationship before her partners embarrass her. That's what I think. So now she's dating Damson Idris, who's another high tier man. He's not on Michael B. Jordan's caliber, but he is moving in that direction. And she's gonna still benefit from being with him because of the publicity she will get. The more publicity she gets, the better. Lori is growing her brand and I think her ultimate goal is to have her own empire. And also Damson is gonna get some publicity as well. So to some extent, I do think their relationship is a business arrangement, but they probably like each other too. I'm pretty sure they enjoy each other's company and it's nothing serious, they're just having fun. Now moving on, I wanna switch gears a little bit. The rapper Meek Mill caught a lot of backlash because people thought he was shading Lori Harvey. When the news came out that Lori and Damson were dating, he posted an interesting tweet saying this, y'all let that gal F anybody. Now some people felt like Meek Mill was being salty because Lori never gave him a chance. Some years back, Meek gave Lori a huge shout out on his song Going Bad and said Lori was on his wish list, but Lori still never paid him any mind. So after that, he took Lori off his wish list. Hold on, I took Lori Lori off my wish list. Now people are accusing him of shading Lori now because they think he's still salty. Meek, however, tried to clear it up and say, Damson, my real friend, the shade room posted and made it seem as if I'm coming at him and his lady, the F. These sites ruin many friendships and families. Seeing all that negativity, you become that. I stay away from people that live in those comments. They be secretly miserable. So Meek is denying throwing shade at Lori, but some people are just not buying it. I did find the timing of his tweet to be a little odd, but Meek Mill tweets about random stuff all day long. So maybe <laughs> we all were reaching, but whatever. Tell me what y'all think about this whole video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.